Okay, here's the two minute tour. This is what broke out so wet I could no longer mow. So I dug channels there. That's Sinka. She wants to be out here. And I dug another channel and I dug another channel. Okay, got it? So now we have this lovely stream, which we assumed must be our broken water line. But here it is. Oh. It's a beautiful, natural, permanent stream. It doesn't seem to want to let up. Okay, now this is now dry. And this is our French drain keeping our house dry. So we think so far we're okay. Our house is not soaked, nor is this that wet. But it's because we've had to dig this crazy channel all the way down here and over the hill. And then we've got rocks down there in a channel with a pipe sticking out, which is the exit for the French drain. So, now we come over here. This is a nice heavy grade stone. And this is the nice big ditch, which I didn't neglect. I cleaned it out three years ago. And it should flow, three, f flow freely, okay? And uh, Ralph, there it is. I'm gonna put this on YouTube so I don't break any of Facebook's rules. Here's what I dug out just today in these two holes. One up here, one down here. It filled up immediately the first time I did it, but you can see there is some water coming into it now. Okay, there was a spring right here 20 years ago. Now I have taken my front loader and dumped a load every three feet and completely filled this ditch six inches deep with the big stone. And then there's this thing, which is now filled with sediment up to about six inches deep, which is part of my problem, but really not the problem. So this is our lovely home. None of this has anything to do with the broken water line to our house. So the water gods have been after me.